How's it going everybody? G Murph here. Gonna play something new today. I've been playing this game for about five, six days now. And I think I like it enough to make a series out of it, so I'm gonna do that. It's called Project Zomboid. And it is a zombie apocalypse survival game I'm gonna do one week later scenario at normal I guess uh, the only difference is, is easy you have a experience multiplier of two times uh, you start with baseball bat saw school bag hammer water and food um, I'm just gonna do normal you get a smaller multiplier and you start with a little bit of water and food alright <clears throat> uh, let's do this I'm going to start yeah I'll just start in uh, Maldro <laughs> what the fuck? John Jones? <laughs> I used to be really into the uh, UFC, and John Jones is one of my favorite fighters. It's spelled a little different, but close enough. Carpenter. Now here's where you can pick different traits. I'm going to pick... Hmm. What am I going to pick? I'm gonna pick Lucky to help, uh, gives you a better chance of finding stuff when you're looting houses and whatnot. Alright, I'm gonna go with Lucky and probably a fast learner. Because, like I said, it takes forever for our skills to go up, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, the the traits come with negative points here on the sides. So I got negative four for lucky and negative six for fast learner. Um, it doesn't let you start the game if you have negative points. So in order to get back to zero or positive number, you have to pick negative traits, which is this list down here. So, I got negative eight, I gotta get back to zero in order to start. And this always sucks, cause I don't want any of these. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take a heavy smoker as well. That puts me at plus two, which means I can afford a negative two traits, which is nice because I usually take Dexterous, just uh, lets you move things from your inventory a lot faster, and I'm at zero, so we can play. Let's do this. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. All right, here we are. The first house to spawn in is usually relatively safe. And I definitely want to stay here and gather up some supplies. So I started with a bag of chips water bottle, uh, the clothes that I picked, and a key ring. Um, yeah. These drawers have clothes in them. Sheets are 
relatively important. Um, you can use them to cover windows, and you can also tear them up into rags, which is nice. You can tear other clothes up into rags, but if you do a sheet, it gives you like seven or eight right off the bat. So I'm going to do that. Rib clothing. Bam, seven. And you can use these for improvised bandages. Uh, okay, dead mouse. Bad towel. Uh, the towels, as far as I know, the only use for them is, uh, you might be able to turn these into rags too. But if you use a towel with bleach, you can clean up like uh, blood stains and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna take another sheets. Uh, tweezers, I guess. You do have a a weight capacity. Has the weight on all the uh, items right there. And right here is the uh, this is your max carry limit. This will be determined what by what your strength is. And this is what you're currently at. Awesome. Um, the first thing you really want to do is find a weapon. Kitchen knives are nice. Uh, they don't last very long. Everything has everything has a durability when it comes to uh, weapons. Anyway, uh, as you can see, this one was just about a third of the a third of the way left for condition. But I'm gonna take it anyway because um, kitchen knives are nice because they can do uh, one hit kills. Um, frying pan is nice. Has a really good knockdown. I'm gonna equip that one actually. Yeah. The, uh, one of the first things you want to find is uh, a backpack or a duffel bag or a hiking bag are the best to uh, carry items. But I don't think. We're going to get one in here, unfortunately. Uh, there is a garbage uh, plastic bag. Which I will take. The bags let you carry more items and also um, reduces the weight those items cost. And the better the bag, the more weight reduction the fuck was that noise? Okay. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'll just walk by. Alright, I'm gonna take that plastic bag. Put it in here. I'm going to equip it to secondary. And... There it is. Only lets me hold eight. In a uh, grocery bag, unfortunately, but hey, eh. works for now, right? All right, now that we've looted what I want to carry right now, we can go ahead and leave. Ooh, she's right there now. Yeah, she did move. All right. Yeah, sit down. Alright. And she's got nothing I want. Uh, one thing I do like about this game is uh, the field of view and how it affects your sight. As you can see, uh, the line here kind of follows. That's where I can see. I can see these guys, but if I turn too much, they disappear. And I really like that. It adds uh, lots of surprise attacks. 
Oh, this one's got boards on the window. Interesting. All the windows back here. Oh, shit. She's probably gonna... Oh, the door in there is broken, of course. How about... Oh, this window's already broken. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna remove the glass first. If you crawl through a window without breaking the glass first, it'll, uh, you have a chance of being injured. And I don't really want to deal with that right now. The sheets, some radios, more sheets. Actually, I'm going to take these. Keep making noise, guys. That's great. <clears throat> he has a key. I'm guessing it probably goes to this house, but we're already in, so screw it. Sometimes, um... If you find a vehicle, the uh, there might be a zombie in the area of that vehicle that carries a key, if the key wasn't already in the vehicle. Uh, newspaper, not too worried about that. Not too worried about the battery either. Box of shotgun shells and a shotgun, holy crap. Um, hmm kind of just throwing stuff at me. I'm going to eat the cereal. As you can see, the bar over your head shows um, how long it takes to do the current action you're doing. Everything takes time. Oh, okay. That's what? Oh, this one has some more shotgun shells in it, too. I'm not going to take the uh, shotgun shells right now. I have a feeling something's going to come through that window. Man, this place is loaded with food. I usually find cigarettes in like uh, nightstands next to beds, it seems like. Oh yeah, I want to check this car. Yes. Put that on. Right, I'm going to take all these, move them into the school bag. And then I'm going to get rid of this stupid garbage bag or plastic bag, whatever it's called. Unequipped. Get rid of that. Alright, backpack's a little bit better. Holds 15. I think the distribution weight was 60% or something. Yeah, weight reduction 60. Awesome. Um, I took these earbuds because uh, one of the skills you can level up is uh, electrical. And you get experience for dismantling electronics and... Earbuds counts as electronics. So. Locked. He had a wallet on him. Okay. I'm gonna kill this woman just uh, cause she might be the owner of this vehicle. So. Not so much. And there's a radio there. Radio also counts as electronics, but you need a screwdriver to dismantle electronics, which I don't have yet, so I'm not going to bother taking that stuff yet. I took the earbuds because I don't weigh anything. They weigh 0.1. Um, metal pipe. 
Small metal sheets. Some seeds. Not bad. Oh man. A baseball bat. That is nice. Um, I might put this in my backpack here. And then I'm going to take this one, equipped in both hands. Bam. Uh, it says I'm overweight now. Fairly heavy load. Carrying a little too much. It's not a huge deal. Um, this will increase if you, the farther you go over your limit. And it will have an effect on how fast you run. Uh, how tired you get, all that stuff. If you're wondering why I usually stop on them instead of hitting them with the bat while they're down, um, it just saves on, oh, yes. Uh, stomping on them on the ground just uh, saves on your weapon's durability. I found a screwdriver, a hammer that's in better condition. Uh, grab one, hopefully it takes the best one. Yeah, it did. An expert carpentry book, which is going to be handy. I'll take that. And more nails. I'm hoping this is a carpentry house. Seems like it is. Yes! Saw is also going to be important for carpentry and leveling it up. I'm going to take one of those. Look at that. Oh, hiking bag. Even better. Normal, there's also a big hiking bag, which is the best one, but a normal hiking bag is still really good. The capacity is 20, and the weight reduction is 70. Duffel bag is 18 and 65. There is an update coming soon. Oh, I'm going to put the uh, baseball bat back on. There is an update coming soon. Um, it looks like they're going to change uh, the way... Your character looks and also how he moves. Right now, uh, character moves pretty smoothly, but it looks like they're going to change it so it's a little more physics based with uh, momentum and everything. And oh my god, this. Oh. Never mind, this is the same house. Um, they're also going to change it so you can tell if you're wearing a backpack or not, which is cool. All right, it looks like, oh, I have a, oh, I'm still wearing this. Oops, <laughs> forgot to take this off and put that on your back. There, I'm gonna drop that backpack. And I'm just gonna put stuff in here that I don't need right now books oh okay just uh one of these books i guess <laughs> all right so we're full up right now still no cigarettes which kind of worries me it's also getting dark which is also not good but yay I do kind of know, I do kind of know where I am right now. Uh, if I keep heading this way, there is a pretty safe house that I want to uh, stay in. I'm not sure if I'll stay there for the entire playthrough because it is kind of a, uh oh, oh, it's right there. It is kind of a, a really safe house to be in. What is that noise? Sounds like a... Sounds like a grandfather clock or something. 
Yeah, as you can see, uh, moving through the woods slows you down terribly, and it also kills, like, your your vision. But it also kills the vision of zombies. But they can, they can still hear you if you're moving through the trees, so keep that in mind. Jesus. Oof. That was a good bit there for a sec. There's another one right there. If I just keep moving this way, I should be good. Alright. I think I know where I am, but I kind of don't at the same time. I think if I follow this road, it should take me to the house I was talking about. I'm hoping. I like how these trailers are all just like wide open too. Cigarettes, yes! Alright, I might stay here for the night. Because it's already pretty dark out. Um, being that I have so many sheets, I'm actually going to... Uh, where are they go? Sheets. Oh, there they are. Move these back to my inventory. Okay. I am going to cover these windows. Yeah, adding sheets to the windows just lets uh just makes it so you're less visible from the outside. I only got two left. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one here. And I'm gonna cover this one. I'm gonna drink from the sink. I'm also going to fill my bottle back up. And I'm also going to smoke because he's jonesing. And the anxious thing went away, which is nice. Uh, if you're wondering why I left uh, these uh, windows uncovered, is uh, well, one, I ran out of sheets, <laughs> and two, I do still want to be able to see outside a little bit. If I really need to hide, I can go here, or I can go to the bedroom. The bedroom's totally covered up, except for the this window here but that's fine uh, nighttime I really wish I had a clock or something that'd be nice nighttime is uh, it's very hard to move around at night because you can't see anything really and basically what I usually do at night is I read any uh, books that I may have had, that I may have. Reading, reading the skill books gives you uh, XP multipliers. Um, I can't read this one yet because it's for level seven and eight, and I'm only three in carpentry. So I would need a intermediate book, which is for three and four. Uh, oh, I'm getting drowsy. Okay. That's good. Um, I do have a screwdriver, so I guess I can start dismantling these. Sleep first. Alright, 
it looks like uh Looks like it's close to morning time. Alright. Yeah. Gonna leave off here for now. Because it's probably been close to an hour already. Survived the first night. That's always good. It's a good start. Until next time. This is G Murph and uh, John Jones. Checking out. See you later. <laughs>